Hey Advent Tubers, Vloggers, Steam Community. Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. Without any question and without any doubt, my birthplace is my ultimate place of relief. I have born in a small village and I have born in a small wood house of Buffalo. 25 years back, we moved to city due to work. But whenever I visit my hometown, that gives true sense of belongingness. Right now, uh, for me, my happy place is just being at home with my wife. You know, it's it's where I feel most safe. And, you know, when you're with the one you love, there, there isn't much better than that. I mean, obviously, people who have children would probably say, obviously, their children and their wife. Um, and I can imagine like how great that is because um, I'd love to have kids one day. Today's question's cool. What, uh, where's your happy place in life, or what brings calm to your life? I like, I, I really like that question. I kind of, well, I struggle, I struggle with depression myself. Um, so it's interesting to 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 have that reflective statement on, uh, you know, what makes you happy and things like that. And in all honesty, there's a couple places where I'm really happy and and have a lot of fun. One is is. Uh, live streaming i really like that you know with the three or four shows that i produce and and having online conversations with people um that i don't know and some that i do know and things like that and putting a number out there for people to call in is, is cool because y- you never know who's going to show up and i really like my happy place is having conversations with people that i don't know and being uh connected i guess you could say i suppose my happy place is with family and friends mentally and physically healthy no, uh, you know, no regrets, you know, hindsight 2020, enough foresight to know where you're going and be comfortable with it. I think being happy and being around people that are, you know, happy and make you happy, obviously, you know, that is what you want to strive for. And that's made easier with things like making sure that you have a job you can um, find value in or just straight up be happy or love doing which is what I'm doing daily now. More than ever, I'm working towards that goal and more focused than ever on it, thanks to this community. And uh, so my happy place is to achieve that or be happy working towards it. And again, making sure everyone else is happy and part of them being happy is me being happy as well. And uh, you know, you feed off of each other and The happier you become, the easier it is to find that happy space. My um, happy place, um, a perfect place where I feel at peace or really calm uh, would be a a lakeside house, you know, like something uh, that's on the lake. Um, Now, when I say on the lake, it's not just something that's right, uh, something like a really... um, really being a part of a town or a place which is actually has a lot of uh, you know people residing in the area Uh, when I say something by the lake I am trying to say something that's really remote you know with uh, let's say probably you have like five neighbors in about uh, 30 miles or uh, 40 miles you know that's the kind of um, population rate or uh, in a population rate of the town that I have in mind. So really, really isolated place. Why isolated? Um, nothing really uh, specific as to why, but um, it kind of makes you feel that, makes you feel that you're in a really quiet, uh, clean environment, you know, like environment wise, the air, where the air is uh, fresh and pure. And um, so a house right by the lake, you know, with probably um, a bedroom, uh, deck, you know, like a deck attached to the bedroom, which opens out facing the lake. I would say my happy place is with the people I love, smiling and being happy and being positive, not being down, depressed, anxiety, stress, overwhelmed. There's going to be certain foods and places assigned to those those places and foods, um, and it's kind of weird as well because I have like seasonal versions of that. So certain foods in winter, like soups. And then summer, like it's a drinks thing, like mojitos. I guess it's the combination of like 
the weather and the food, the drinks, the company. Um, I actually think my happy place is pretty much everywhere and anything. I'm always doing something. It always makes me smile, makes me happy. So I'm kind of fortunate in that way that it's pretty much, there's always going to be some um, difficult times and negative times. But generally, I'm kind of a happy and positive person. <clears throat> so, but particularly my happy place would be with anyone that's kind of close to me, family, friends. Happy place day! I don't know what day this is, but it's happy place day. So I took you back to this park. You remember this park. It's kind of flooded. Um, my happy place, this is one of my happy places for sure. It's a long, long trail. It goes this direction and it goes this direction across four towns, I believe. It's one of a, a really long bike trail in this area. Um, and this is one of my favorite walking places, but it's cold today. Damn. So yeah, if we're talking a geolocational place, this is one of this is one of my happy places for sure. If there's another happy place that's 3000 miles away from here and that's with Team Humble. But a lot of my happy places are there a lot of them are in nature. Like I am here, preferably by some water. Because I'm a Pisces and that's what I need to be happy. Uh, another happy place is being with a doggo or really any animal. Animals, they just do something for my soul, man. Yeah, for me right now, it's, you know, being with my wife, uh, being with my family, uh, you know, doing things that uh, make me happy. Um, and I think in the future, if I was looking at a future happy place, it would be I think kind of just an, uh, uh, an evolution of that currently. So wife and kids, you know, yeah, just I think I think for me, that's just it's just the basics for me would be just being with family, having good times with them, obviously with friends as well. Uh, but I think I think uh, for me, my happy place is just being with my family. I think you could I could say, you know, doing hobbies and that. But we're you know, we are social creatures. The air which I breathe, it holds peace which calms me, which tells that it is your ultimate place, it is your ultimate destination. This place needs your ultimate actions, your ultimate consciousness. I try to go more often there to gain my true self because in city life, for sure, we will going to miss our true self. We engage in rat race, we engage in other aspects of life. My birthplace is my ultimate place and I'm planning that if possible, I will be back there forever. So I think, especially for me, uh, being with, you know, other human beings, close human beings, you know, like, like my family, um, that is where I'm most happy. So I think as, uh, as kind of like you think, you know, overall everyone was going to say that, but generally for me, that is that is my happy place. Then people around you also start living in that space. They start being affected by your attitude. Uh, but when everyone around you is negative, it's hard to get out of that. And it's hard to be the only one to go and get out of it because then you still have a whole bunch of negative people around you. And so it's shown me that Positivity has a lot to do with it, so my happy place is just making sure everyone I care about and I'm close to is in a happy place themselves, and that makes me happy. Um, I mean, especially now that I have um, a nephew who's almost two years old, seeing him kind of, kind of grow up and kind of discover the world for the first time with new eyes and being a bit cheeky and testing the limits of people and things. So it's a, it's always brings a smile to my face when I, I see him. Home is always a happy place. Going holidays, uh, always always happy when you're by the beach somewhere. Or I like to go into nature and hiking. So that's also a kind of happy place. I can create a little bubble, I guess. Those environments of a happy place. Those are my happy places. Putting yourself out there to just have conversations is uh, something I really like. I, I enjoy it. I didn't know that I was going to enjoy it. I didn't even know about it until 2016 when I was experimenting with Google Hangouts and doing other 
kinds of work and projects and things like that. Um, my other happy place is hanging out with uh, my kids and having fun there. They'll, they ask me to chase them every morning, which I do, uh, around the house, outside, wherever we are. And uh, so that is fun. It does take its toll, which I'm sure those of you who have kids know. But uh, it's remarkable when they, you know, learn things and tell you things and tell you stories of things that you don't even know about. Uh, I go to, I'm a Browns fan, I'm a football and an uh, American football fan, I should say. I like to make that distinction. Um, always have been. And uh, I know some people aren't, and that's fine. And uh, I know there's a lot of, you know, things around that, but I am. And I go and watch the my football team in Cleveland here for every home game. I love being around animals. <laughs> Dogs in particular, because that's kind of genetically my destiny. But we can talk more about that later. Um, I'm also very much in a happy place when I'm making things, when I'm just like in the flow of creating. I remember when I was a little kid, <laughs> specifically, had this like really stressful day, and uh, for a kid anyway, I, th I think it was testing all day long, it was probably the math portion of like standardized testing, and um, I remember getting home, and my mom had some kind of craft for me, it was like some type of spin paint or something and I remember my friends in the neighborhood in the block were like knocking on the door and they were like can Dale come out can Dale come out what's Dale doing and I was like I need this time I was like eight I was like I need to decompress guys I don't know that's always been like a little safe place for me it's like a little making space something doing something with my hands I think that's why I love cooking so much so, oh, and I really want to have a pottery wheel one day. I'm just like putting that out there in the universe that I really want a pottery wheel. I would say other places are when I'm allowed to be creative and just free form uh, make to build um, without any kind of judgment or pressure. Like I feel like I can um, learn. I like to learn and adapt. So yeah, I'd say that, that those are my happy places around me my happy happiness um and i think that's kind of key if you really like want to live this life tr to its true purpose is just to find your positivity and neg um, and happy places rather than being in the negative all the time you know we don't have much time on this earth so what's the point of being negative and down all the time you're just wasting that time to be happy now that deck would be the place where I would be the most happiest. That would be the place where I can uh, probably sit down uh, to do some reading, where I could probably spend my evenings uh, sipping on some tea, uh, probably a little late in the night, uh, you know, post dinner, where you can relax, you know, like wind down, um, sipping on some alcohol, you know, like whiskey or so. So um, that would be the ideal place. Uh, do I know any place? Uh, as such, well, I've seen some, uh, but for now it's imaginary. I would, I would want to call it as imaginary because it's it's not something that I own. So, hoping to own one uh, someday. So that would be the perfect place for me to relax, you know. That, that would make me the happiest and, um, and really, really uh, happy about, uh, you know, spending my time there. So that, that would be the one place that I would want to be. This is one of my happy places and I have many more inside of my mind. <laughs> sound like a crazy person. I'm practicing being more mindful of happiness and not being negative and getting out of that funk of thoughts that can kind of take over. So um, it's a good question. I think it's important and uh, I think it's good for people to know and be aware of uh, what where their happy place is and where they feel uh, safe and nurtured and 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 able to uh, be themselves. <laughs> See us. Spread love and spread kindness. Stay blessed. See you guys. See you next time. <laughs>